Last week we talked about uh, using OpenCV, open, uh, using the canning edge detection, also the uh, color space or the half line uh, P. Use some of the OpenCV function in order to get the edges of the, the lines. Okay, and we also uh, talk about the 2D to 3D transformation by the uh, calibration uh, metrics. So we have the intrinsic and we have the uh, extrinsic. Today uh, we will reuse some of the concept uh, over here, especially the half transform. So we will do another uh, voting uh, mechanism again in the LAN filter. This is the, the roadmap. So we have been done some of the uh, modules here. Okay, and today we will talk about uh, this so that the uh, LAN uh, filter or here a uh, LAN localization will generate a belief map. So essentially that's the, what Daniel just uh, talked about. We just uh, see the uh, mesh grid. You can, you can see like the from blue and to red, right? Okay, so it's uh, essentially it's a two dimensional array. And this module, uh, LAN filter, uh, the, the filter try to filter individual uh, line segments and then produce the uh, estimation of the position and angle of the car. And we will see uh, what's, what exactly the position or angle in a, in a second. And we have a, a document called uh, landfilter.pdf. Uh, That's the documentation to explain what exactly the theoretical background and what's the the symbol means uh, for the uh, land filter node in the code. And actually, uh, the land filter will use a filter called a basis filter. Uh, the detail is in this uh, textbook. If you don't know uh, Sebastian yet, yeah, please recognize this name. This uh, textbook, uh, Probabilistic Robotics, this is more like the classic, the something if you want to do anything about like, robotic research you will have to know about this textbook. Okay, and this man, he's a, a Stanford professor, and he's the vice president in Google, and also the, the co-founder in the Google X. How about this, uh, Udicity? This is a, a fa also a famous online uh, course, the platform, and he's the CEO and co-founder. Okay, and today we will only talk about just health of the land filter just for today. And we will talk about the state and we will talk about the measurement model. So essentially, when you get the line segments from your camera, how are we going to generate the vote for the uh, lateral distance and the angle of the, the card? And next week, uh, we will talk about uh, the basis filter and the process model. This is uh, more like a definition of a state. So when uh, people in robotics talk about state, they refer to the state as the following. So that's a collection of all aspects of the robot and its environment that can impact the future. So you can uh, think that, wow, this is a very general definition, right? It could include lots of uh, different things. And one of the most popular, uh, commonly used one is the a robot pulse. So in the 2D, it, sh it could be just the X and Y, and maybe the rotation, the yaw. Okay, and in 3D, it could be X, Y, Z, and pitch, yaw, and yaw. Become six uh, degree of freedom. And the robot uh, configuration, uh, so uh, suppose you, uh, you have a robot arm, and uh, there is a joint between uh, two rigid uh, body, and the state could also refer to this uh, robot configuration. And also, there is a camera for the robot, and everything uh, the camera can see, the visual appearance, the color, or some textures, or some other, for example, landmarks, they could uh, be defined as a state. But the most commonly used 
is the, the X. Okay, so the X is actually the robot pulse. And in different uh, scenario, the state uh, X at time T for uh, this uh, as a XT. Okay, and in this module, because uh, this is a, a land following task, we only care about uh, this is the car over here. We care about uh, how far away uh, we stay in the center of the land and what's the heading uh, direction of the robot. Okay. And also, uh, this is the environment. So we have the, the length of the white uh, lines, the width of the uh, yellow lines, and we have the W. W is the width of the land. Okay, so we care about uh, those uh, parameters. Again, so we use a D over here, from here. So this is the positive from here to here. Okay, and uh, the phi, uh, that's the angle of this direction. And LY and LW, uh, that's the width of the color line and the, uh, the length width. And over here, uh, we have an uh, assumption that the car will stay uh, in the center and the, the lap, uh, left hand side is the yellow one and the right hand side is the white one. So that uh, when the camera see different line segments with different colors, we will deal with uh, those uh, line segments differently and you will see it in the uh, pseudocode. And about the uh, convention, the DocuBot is over here, and we define that uh, forward is the x, okay, so this is the x direction, and this is the y direction, okay? And as for the d and the uh, phi, so this is actually uh, what we show in a uh, previous uh, slide, so this direction is the positive, and this is the, the angle. The other thing we need to care about is that, for example, we detect a few line segments uh, of this color line, left uh, edges versus the right edges. So here we have uh, S1, S2, S3, and S4. And what's the difference? So it's basically P1 跟 P2 这边比较远的是 P1 然后这边是 P2 那这个也是一样 但是这边的话, 它就是刚好是倒过来那为什么这个部分会蛮重要的尤其是我们现在希望它在车子的中间对不对那其实这个 所以这个是不是也蛮重要,需要考虑进去。其实这个也是因为这是在implementation上有一些考量,例如说刚刚讲convex后嘛,然后或者说这边有一些,也有一些考量,就是说我们为什么要分左边跟右边。For each line segment, we want to generate a dot on the right hand side, and we kind of do the half transform again. So for each segment, we want to convert the line segment to the lateral distance d and the, the angle uh, phi so that we can put a dot in this uh, array. Okay, and you can see that d is equal to zero. That means that's the center. Okay, and this is the phi uh, is uh, zero. And we, we can also define a minimum and a maximum value. Okay, and a minimum and maximum value here. So that's the basic idea that, so we define, we, we detect the line segments, and next we want to figure out uh, what's the, uh, the votes of those uh, line segments to this D and phi uh, coordinate. Okay, so that from this, uh, this one, this, uh, we call this uh, measurement likelihood. Okay, so this is uh, exactly what Daniel talked about. Uh, so we have a, a maybe two-dimensional array. And if you vote some of the positions uh, more frequently, then this will account for our land pulse. And this is an algorithm. This is uh, just uh, each line segment will generate one vote. The output uh, is the di and phi i. Okay, just like a dot on the right hand side, the measurement likelihood. And 
Uh, this is not exactly very complicated, but maybe also not straightforward to understand, right? That's why we want to run it in IPython notebook. And but essentially, we can take a look at uh, some of the basic ideas. So you can see that the color of the segment is important, right? So if you detect a white uh, segment on your right hand side, that seems uh, safer that you, you are more likely stay in the lane. But you detect a white segment on your left hand side. That could be something terrible, right? You could be, the car could be uh, just out of the lens. We also need to know, uh, is that the, the left edge, uh, edges or the right one? Just like what we talk about. Okay, so we have uh, another, uh, actually two, like uh, a nested uh, if else over here. 